So I saw this house and I wanted to comment on it just because there's so many things in real estate that tend to be a way or a strategy of selling a property. But when it when it comes to the general public, I feel like a lot of people are confused at why things happen the way that they do. So I kind of wanted to explore this property. So this house in Toronto, this little itty bitty tiny one, it just sold for just under $850,000. So the conversation starts of, is it worth it? There's a few things that I want to point out to you. One, as you can see, super duper small. It's itty bitty. Both properties on either side are towering over it. One thing that I should state, it does have a very small frontage, meaning the width of the property. It's tiny. Someone who's purchasing this property is merely purchasing it, for the most part, for the land. Um, just as the neighbors have done, most people in this area, they're looking to tear it down and build a new property. In this case, due to the fact that the frontage is so small, they're probably going to end up building up more than they are across. With that said, I want to show you some comparables in the area. Welcome back. So very quickly, like we were talking about before, lot size. So it does have a really great depth, um, especially with some regulations that are coming on the scene regarding garden suites or laneway properties. Could you really build two properties on this land? With that said, this is the property, okay? Not in horrible shape either. It definitely needs some work, but it's habitable. It's tight. I should probably move myself. It's tight, but it's habitable. So let's look at other properties that have sold in the area since January 1st, 2024. There have been four sales in this area, ranging from the price point of $9.99 all the way up to just above 1.25 mil. So in terms of that specific property, you can see that was a really good investment, especially if your intent was always to rip it down and build new. One thing I'll say to the buyer who purchased this property is good for you, especially due to the fact that these two properties beside you are increasing your property value. Not only that, clearly you were a buyer that was ready so you didn't have to get ready. In order to find a property with a price point like this in Toronto, so if you're looking to get into the market, reach out. It's one of those things. You have to be in the game to be able to capitalize on the sales that are in the market currently.